bottled up Kitty Aloxa, who had a big game when you met down in Tampa, still come away with a tough loss. In your eyes, what were the factors? What were the factors that decided this game? Cold shooting. Hmm. Cold shooting. Uh, I mean, we held South Florida to 31 percent uh, shooting. We did not take advantage of the second quarter. When Courtney Williams was out with two fouls, we started that quarter zero for eight until Gabby hit those two shots. And then we had people in foul trouble, had really strange combinations in. Uh, um, but we were we were in foul trouble. It just bottom line is sh shots just shots not falling. We couldn't score. We could we started out the game good, and then once they made their run back to us, we never really went on a significant run after that. And then also you look at the uh, the turnover difference and. You know, their turnovers in single digits were in double digits. And, you know, they just, um, of course, Courtney Williams is going to hit some big shots. That's what she does. Uh, yeah, they got, some, they got some nice shooters. But I still, I, 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 you know, they weren't, they weren't hot today. And even though maybe the score isn't really indicative of the fight our kids had and we had some good defensive schemes, Bottom line is it doesn't matter what you do defensively, you got to put the ball in the hole. And, you know, I feel bad for Steph Tay because she had, she had a number of um, good looks in the paint and, and they just didn't fall. You mentioned the cold shooting. Alicia Froelen came comes in off a game in which she scored 33 points at Cincinnati. Today all of her points come from the free throw line. Was that a credit to South Florida's defense or was this, like you said, just one of those days where her shot wasn't going? Well, I think maybe a little bit of both. I think uh, South Florida got to credit their defense. I think they did do a good job on Alicia. But she also, a couple of those shots, you look at that one at the free throw line, she, she, she barely had the ball in her hands and she was shooting it. She, she rushed it a little bit and, and um, you know, she just didn't, didn't really have it. But that's also uh, the consistency of the game. Uh, you have a game like that and then you come back, have a game like that, like this. And... Players got to learn to be consistent, but more so, more importantly, is we have to be consistent as a team. And that's what I talked to uh, our team about. Right now, you know, we're like, as I, as I told them, talked to them earlier, I said, we're like that, that you know, graph on it. When somebody goes and gets an EKG and you're up and down on the graph there. And, and you know, I need the team that keeps doing this. <laughs> Sticking with the defense, the 20 turnovers today, um, that led to a 29-11 advantage on points off turnovers for South Florida. Those turnovers a result of their defense, or did you think your team was a little reckless with the ball? Well, we uh, we forced some things inside, but then we also had some balls hit hands and and go through them, and, and we, you know, we're, we are going to look inside. I, I thought that we did have some reckless passes. Um, you know, we, we pass to the defensive side a couple times, but we do like to go inside, and, and we probably forced it a few too many times. Speaking of the defense, when you met South Florida in Tampa, Loxa scored 38 points. Today you hold her to 12. What was the difference in the way you were able to keep her in check? Well, she, uh, she got most of those points first half, uh, I believe, and she, she looked a little tired to me at the end of, end of the first half, but I thought we did a good job defending their plays. I thought we did a good job of switching. Uh, we didn't do a good job of defending them going to the hoop. We put them at the free throw line too many times and, and, uh, and you know, just, just allow them to go to their, their strong hand. But it, it, to be honest, I think, I really think South Florida, I think Jose knows that they didn't play probably their best game. And, and although the score isn't that close, if we had played um, a little bit better, it would have ended up being more of a game, but we didn't. And that's what good teams do. Even when they don't play their best, they come away with uh, road victories. Short of making more shots, what do you try to clean up between now and your next game? Uh, making shots and our passing. I, uh, heck, we'd be better off going having shooting practices right now.